Hey, what's up guys? It's Lewis Beasley here and I'm very excited about this video and product. In fact, I was so excited when I received the product, I've already taken it out the box. Connected it, tested it, and made sure that everything worked and all the components were there. And of course, they were. So I apologize for not having anything on this video to unbox. However, I am going to share this product with you guys. Now, one of my favorite areas of technology is the creation of music. I create a lot of music for individuals, artists, and different companies, and a lot of times those individuals will come back to me and ask me to do something similar to some of my previous production work, or they'll ask me to do a remix version of something that I produced previously. I don't mind doing that. I enjoy doing that. I mean, anytime I can be creative and unique, I love doing that. You know, I, I hate trying to mirror something somebody already done. Uh, you know, being unique with your work is just something you have to do. That being said, I think this product is definitely going to assist me in continuing to be unique in the things that I do uh, in terms of music and production. Uh, so enough of me rambling on, let's get right to this product. So this is the Newmark 4-Track controller for Tractor. The board that allows you to mix anything and tweak everything. Well, that's what they're claiming. <laughs> The very first thing I noticed is that this board is very well constructed. The chassis is metal. Now my hat goes off to Newmark and Native Instruments for not skipping out on quality with this controller. This unit supports four decks. You have two physical decks and with the press of a button the same two decks can control the two virtual decks. One of the big wins for me was the FX panel. 12 knobs that give you complete control over effects and filters within the software. If you're a hands-on person like me, then this is a very important feature. Another big plus is the built-in audio interface. That's right, you don't need a sound card to run this board. That's already built into the controller. Four line inputs, two turntable inputs, and two microphone ports have also been added. For those of you who prefer XLR cables over your standard quarter inch music instrument cable, you're in luck. The 4-Track supports two balanced XLR outputs. One thing that companies seem to skip out on when building these controllers is the quality of the platters. Most controllers I've seen and used have cheap, lightweight filling platters. That's not the case with this unit. It seems Newmark really listened to their consumers before building this product. On the back of the unit, you have a full range of inputs and outputs. Seriously, this thing has every input and output port I could ever need. Another big plus for me is a dual headphone port. You have your standard 3.5 millimeter headphone port as well as a quarter inch headphone port. Moving on to the surface of the unit, you'll notice your standard controls button. You have your buttons for pitch bending and also a pitch bending slider. We also have a play button, pause button, and a sync button. The sync button can be a lifesaver. It will auto sync the tempo to the master song playing, allowing you to spend that freed up time elsewhere. We also have a shift button and five hot cue buttons for setting various cue points throughout the song. Here we have two dedicated buttons used to activate and delete our grid markers from within the software. Changing the range of your song can be easily activated with a click of a button. Here we can set our platter as master. When the master button is activated on one of the platters, the other one is automatically set to the slave. We can also get that record scratching effect by simply activating the scratch button. Now up top we have a group of buttons dedicated to setting the loop on the fly, editing the length, the timing, and removing that loop. The beauty of this board is being able to control just about every aspect of the software right from within this controller. I can rely less on the mouse and keyboard and do just about everything I need to do right from the board itself. The layer button on this board is used to access and activate any of the four decks from within the software. Again, being able to control everything using buttons, knobs, and faders on this controller is so satisfying. One neat feature of this particular controller is the mixer. You don't need a computer to use the mixer on this unit. You can use the 4 channel mixer as a standalone or you can connect other turntables to this unit and use this mixer as a primary mixer. Very handy. You have your standard gain control and your 3 band EQ for tweaking the overall sound of your project. Very handy as well. Now there's no way I can fit all the features of this board in this video, so that being said, I better wrap it up. There are a few music stores and online stores that may still have this in stock. This particular board is getting harder to find, so you'll probably have to do some digging around. This is definitely a unit that I'll add to my collection and hang on for quite some time. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and a big thanks to all of you all who continue to support my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Sound you later.